Hello everyone, my name is Yitish Amul Haq. So before starting this course, uh, firstly we have to understand what is a web development, what is the basics mean, basic meaning of uh, Java, uh, HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Because this is the uh, starting of the web development, right? So we, still, uh, we first have to understand what is HTML and uh, CSS and JavaScript. Okay, let's start. So firstly, uh, uh, when we look at this car, what we see? So first we see skeleton. It is made, made up of skeleton colors, right? And then the functionality, right? Engine, obviously. So if we differentiate between HTML, CSS and JavaScript, the basic difference between between them is that HTML is basically the body of the car, which means it is the skeleton of the car, okay? So, and the design, the coloring of the car is basically CSS. Uh, when we uh, when we start learning CSS, we will design websites using CSS. Uh, but when we have to make the skeleton of the web uh, website, we, we will use HTML. But if we have to start the uh, car, we need the engine, right? For that purpose, we will use JavaScript. Uh, for instance, if you in the website, we want the functionality of APIs of uh, getting data fetch, fetching from one place to another, we will use uh, basic JavaScript. Uh, so yeah, then uh, le uh, le let's let's go further and explain. Let's see what is HTML. So. Uh, HTML basically is a standard language for any website design, right? Just as we just, just as I discussed it before. So a web application, it is a uh, well standard sy uh, system, right? So if we go and explain it to myself uh, naively, so it is basically skeleton for website, just as we discussed. Uh, see, you can see the images for the skeleton. They don't have any colors. They can walk, but this, for instance, now they can't even walk because we don't have implemented any JavaScript. So uh, let's go further. Now CSS, let's talk about CSS. So CSS, now we have the skeleton, but we have the coloring as well. You see this zombie, uh, this is the zombie, right? We have the skeleton and we have the coloring as well, which is green and etc. This it is colorful. It it look it looks good. Okay, but for instance, now need we need the brain as well because without the brain, uh, it is only zombie. But when we get the brain, it will start functioning. It will start thinking. It will start pondering. It will start walking. Right. So the basic engine of the website is basically JavaScript. It is uh, a programming language where CSS and uh, HTML is not a programming, programming language. Okay, so now since we understood what is the HTML, CSS and JavaScript and basic difference between them, in the next lecture we will start learning HTML. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Yitish Amul Haq. Okay, welcome back. So in this lecture, firstly we will discuss that how we, how can we install this uh, Visual Studio code where we, where we can code, right? So this is the uh, software and compiler where we, where we code, right? So let's see. Okay, now first we will go to the Google and then we will write Visual Studio uh, code, okay? Uh, when we write this, uh, this just simple, very simple, just go to downloads. Uh, and if you have Windows, uh, click on this button, uh, Linux and Mac, Mac, go for this. Just go and download it. Uh, since I've already downloaded it and installed it, I want to do that, okay? So I will go back. Just uh, when you go install it, uh, just click next and next and next and it will uh, finish in, in the in, in at last, okay? So that's it, okay. Now, before starting, uh, I want to explain my approach how we will uh, how will i uh, explain to you how will we uh, approach this course right so uh, first of all when when we proceed further we will uh, we will learn with uh, uh, while doing projects okay i will give you assignments i will give you uh, projects uh, and the, the projects we, we are going to do uh, we will go with that okay so uh, yeah uh, and then 
it's not me who is going to do the project but you are going to finish the project with me as well okay so we we are go, we are we will both be in the same uh, uh, circle okay great so uh, first of all uh, let's see what is html just in the previous lecture we discussed that html is a skeleton uh, basically a skeleton of the car uh, basically skeleton of the website right so uh, for that we have to understand how can we write that as basic html uh, to uh, to make that page flexible right so what what do i mean by flexible so we have to understand the structure of uh, html so we will uh, if we understood the structure of uh, html we will uh, it it will be very easy to make uh, websites for example uh, if i come here and check this basic basic paragraph basic paragraph now you look at this that get uh, this is heading right uh, it's bold it's big heading so there's a different uh, text for that there's a big uh, different syntax for that right for example h2 heading 2 yani matlab uh, which means that it's have it has heading and it has behind we have implemented css behind the doors we don't have to understand that right and then come here we have p tag right we will yeah, i will we will go further we will i will explain it further don't worry about it. i'm just giving you a brief introduction to html okay then when we come here it is bluish and there's under a line right what what does that mean so basically it's mean that when we click here uh, here uh, another link uh, web page is open or another link is open right so it is uh, hyperlink is called hyperlink so th just like this there are more hyperlinks right right here right okay then if we go further we can look that the basic structure of a uh, layout of the website firstly we have the header section we have the navigation center uh, bar then index the sidebar which means basically sidebar and the content section basically there is the it is consist of basically here where we are where we are going to insert the content and then the footer section right so yeah now if we go and understand this further let's go to the google right now basically the header section is basically this gmail images and my uh, image and then the, the section and when you come here and look at this it is basically means that this is the footer section yeah and then you come here and you see this is the content section which is the this and this is footer section which is this section uh, the header and navy nav bar section which is this section so this is the head bar and when you come here this is the uh, navigation center okay so that's the brief introduction now let's move further now when you open the visual studio code finally uh, just if you can't uh, you might have a shortcut in the uh, desktop or you might have the start button in the start starting okay so when you come here and write uh, create a file just go to the intro dot html so what is html so when you come here and visual studio code and you create file here in explorer you find found out that this is the basically uh, HTML when you write want to write CSS you come here and CSS right it will give you syntax as well and you come here write uh, JavaScript you write JS okay so currently we are learning HTML so we will run, uh, write HTML G great so now we have HTML now if you're wondering that I have different theme and you have my you have different theme I have installed different extension for that you might you can go here and, uh, and write this Dracula uh, official it has almost 4 million downloads and uh, yeah it is very good theme for me I liked it so I installed it so you can install it from here ex from extensions as well okay great okay so firstly we have to understand what is uh, basic structure of html right when you come here and write uh, uh, just colon and in, uh, press enter it will give you the basic uh, m, uh, code of the right let's do it again right let's come back and write shift plus one which basically give you the colon it is the emit abbreviation it will give you the full basic structure of the code where we are going to write the HTML, basic html okay so it will be easier for us that uh, to write uh, we don't have to write the boilerplate right so when we go and press enter it will give you the 
basic uh, HTML. Great. So now let's understand uh, what what does it mean? What it, what is heading? What is HTML? Right? Uh, what is the uh, meta? What is what 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 does that title mean? And what is document here? And what is language in? Right? Okay. Let's understand. Now when we come here in the Google, uh, let's uh, zoom it further so you guys can understand. Uh, okay. Great. Okay, hopefully it is much clearer. Okay, great. Now, when you come here and look at this, the HTML, this is basically we have to write it because we have to tell the uh, web page that we HTML is a root, basic root, which is you see the uh, HTML is the uh, all headings and bodies inside the HTML, right? You see. Uh, now, let's uh, zoom out further. Okay, so the head html basically is the uh, um, parent of this uh, heading and body okay so uh, if i call, recall the i have installed the ptr you can use that as well and you can go for uh, into the extension and install that as well so it will uh, when you press uh, shift plus f uh, alt plus f it will all, uh, all automatically define the structure of the um, uh, HTML, okay, or any language, uh, it, uh, the previous sports, okay, great. Now, since now we understood that, uh, understand that the HTML is the parent uh, element, and uh, the heading is the heading and body is the child's of this HTML, uh, uh, right? This uh, parent, great. Now, since HTML is the root, that's why we put the heading and body inside the uh html okay great now for further now let's understand what is heading now basically heading header means there here we will be going to put the uh, basic seo if you mean seo that these are the meta tags uh, we will uh, i will explain it further don't worry about it uh, just for this uh, lecture we want to understand the basic structure okay now here we basically define the SEO and the basic viewport width device. Uh, it is basically also for responsiveness, we, uh, which we will learn in the CSS section. Okay, and this section is the basically title. Okay, the document section uh, we, we can I can write any uh, title. For example, uh, lecture, uh, write HTML, any anything. Okay, so just for our title, what is our website title, right? So yeah, for example, again, right, Google here as well, anything, okay. So in the body section, we will write the uh, content of our uh, uh, our website, okay. So this is the ba main body where we going to code for uh, for next period uh, of lectures. And in the and any links we want to add or any links, for example, CSS or JavaScript, uh, sorry, only CSS basically. And we can add the JavaScript as well. We will write here, link, uh, add them here. Okay. So I think that's enough for this lecture. We will discuss uh, discuss much further in the other other lectures. Okay. Take care. Hello everyone, welcome back. So now in this lecture, we will uh, learn more. We will talk about links, uh, headings, and paragraph, and much more. Okay, now let's see. Now in the heading tag, uh, if you want to add any CSS file, for example, let's come here and create one more file. For example, design, just limit design. Okay, now write CSS. Now we can add CSS here. Of course, now we right now we don't have uh, want to learn css right we want to first understand the html okay so what if i want to add this link here i want to connect the html and css with uh, with css right now let's see how we can do that now when we come here and write link it will give you the options as uh, automatically right now we come here and use emit abbreviation uh, right again then just click on it uh, and we'll give you the CSS. Not like this, but uh, let's go and write, let's wait a uh, link, uh, sorry, link and uh, CSS, right? Uh, great, I think that is not working. Let me go and check that again. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, now it's working, great. So when we, kind of, what does that mean? What is that style mean? So it is default name, but right, but we currently don't have any that name, right? let's come here and write this now when we uh, come here in href and write dot slash 
it will give you the options two options intro html and design as uh, css the files which we have created uh, earlier right but we want the we want to connect the css with this html file now what option should we choose obviously design.css now great we can add the css as well so the link tag is basically refers to the uh, what uh, file we want to connect for example we can want, we we might want to connect many more files for example uh, any cdn or any any more libraries we want to add in the html file so we will add using link we write and one more thing that it was all uh, automatically give you the relation right so which is the style sheet obviously it is a style sheet uh, where we want to design and much more great and href basically mean the the location of the uh, of that particular file or any image or anything right currently we are using link so it is uh, design uh, it is a reference to href great now for now okay now let's come go to the another top another topic which is basically heading now before proceeding i want you to install few things for example uh, obviously we want to run this uh, website right or any basic html page now come here in the extension section and write live server basically it is the server we are going to use uh, just make sure it is red quick day okay so uh, let's install it first now it is the server we are going to use for the our live server uh, for our uh, to view our website so it will give you us extension and when we come here back it will give you the go live section great now we want this section because it just give you description of it that click uh, learn to uh, sorry click to run live server great when we click on it uh, and go back just just allow it and uh, let's see what does that give okay great so obviously we are we are blank here we don't have any uh, uh, text here just for now just write anything in the uh, uh, just come here in the body section now let's use PDR again for to uh, undo that and then come here and this is a second lecture uh, of HTML great now go back and check that great we have, we have we wrote our first application right sorry HTML page or anything just for now I think it is I uh, default to write hello world great now let's check again it will give you the automatically give you uh, uh, a result it or it automatically updates your page uh, great now if you don't want to use live server or you want to use any more uh, compilers or anything you don't have to use study code but for me I think it is very important that you must uh, understand one compiler to understand more so currently I'm using Visual Studio Code which is my favorite so that's why I prefer Visual Studio Code and I will suggest that you should use Visual Studio Code as well because it provides many extensions which are very useful so just like live server for instance if you don't have live server you you might have to reload uh, for each time you want to update the files you have to for example I updated the uh, from the lecture to hello world right so we had to re uh, reload the website if you want to, to see, uh, wanted to see the result. Okay, great. Now we have installed the live server. And one more thing, if you go to the settings uh, and go to the uh, auto save option, just go and write after delay. So you don't have to save the file before to uh, view the result, okay? Just write after delay and it will give you the auto save. Uh, change okay great nice now let's re re uh, check the headings okay now re let's wrap the hello world in the uh, heading tags for example it gives you h1 so it has different uh, headings right h1 h2 s3 h4 h5 h6 great now h1 is the biggest uh, and h6 is the minimum for example uh, h6 is the smallest uh, letter here heading here basically and the h1 is the biggest heading here now depending on our scenarios we will which we will learn uh, in other lectures uh, we will discuss that how can we uh, uh, use the different headings in different scenarios for example now let's see hello world um, hello world check that and if you press ctrl d ctrl d i will just write it here ctrl d uh, 
and you can use control slash to commit the uh, commit the uh, commit your code as well so if you come here and uh, enter uh, press sorry press uh, um, control slash plus slash to uh, commit uh, sorry uh, commit the code and if you press uh, press press control uh, plus d you can copy paste uh, to copy paste the uh, code okay great so you can use this both as well okay great so we will use those extensions and i will give you more more of them later okay great now let's control d and paste more times and then you come here and write alt alt here as well and write control do right great just press alt here and alt here as well and write three great now just repeat that uh, i will just go and four and five i think it's much easier for me <laughs> but just to teach you i have to tell you that uh, this is the method as well okay grade four okay now what what do you think that what result you might get obviously this is the biggest heading and this is the smallest heading now let's see uh, let's check what is the result okay great if you come here this is the h6 tag this is uh, sorry this is the h1 tag sorry my fault h1 it this is h1 and this is the h6 tag tag which is the smaller smallest and h1 is the largest okay great now let's move further now we want to create any f uh, paragraph uh, right uh, paragraph as well now if come we come here and right this is the paragraph uh, paragraph right uh, so let now let's check what is the result of that paragraph now obviously it will give me some text just like we if we don't even use the uh, any paragraph syntax it will still give us the same result but just to refer you if you if another person reads your code uh, and he sees that obviously this is a paragraph if he will instantly understood understood that understand understood that this is the paragraph and he will uh, write the paragraph here unlike the without paragraph syntax what do i mean without paragraph uh, syntax that if we come here and write this in the body section it will give us the basic uh, same result just come here and look at that again same result okay so let's go and i think we will copy and uh, uh, yeah now yes come here uh, if you're wondering how i uh, go back you can use that control z to go back okay so so we in this, in this lecture we understood that what is links what is headings and what what are paragraphs so in other lectures uh, we will talk about meta tags we will talk about uh, anchor links and much more and for later i will give you exercises as well for but for now i think it is uh, mandatory to understand the con basic concepts before we proceed further okay take take care bye hello everyone welcome back so in previous lecture we discussed that uh, what is basically heading means what are elements what are basically paragraphs and what we will learn about links as well now in this lecture we will talk more more, more about html uh, structure and uh, about links about uh, hyperlinks about images we will we are going to add this image as well which is this image so firstly we what you going to do is uh, just go to the uh, your file uh, folder which uh, you have created and then uh, just base an image any image and name anything you want uh, i just named it image uh, just to calif uh, make it easier to write so this is the basic image now we want to insert this image in our uh, web uh, uh, web page what we going to do so for now obviously this is empty right but now let's go and use emit abbreviation to write our code now it give us code now obviously this is our application now write this um, our uh, application obviously it is not application the totally different thing but for now just to uh, understand what is title mean right also check you see uh, if we load uh, it it is saying that it is our application so whatever title you wrote right here it will give the same uh, 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 heading here okay so yeah now 
let's move further now we want to add this image here okay now let's see what how how can we do that for that just right come here and write img and press enter now it give us two things it give us a uh, source it give us uh, an alt right what does alt mean so alt basically means that uh, if image is not uh, loading it will uh, this thing is will re render inside okay so we will see what uh, how it will work so the image is here now let's type it again image and write enter okay great now source what is the source source basically is the location of that file so it is a url where it is present obviously we know that how can we do that just press dot and plus slash so it gives us three options obviously it is the image option and we will check that now if we go back to the uh, loading section and it gives us this image it is quite huge so i will make it smaller but still what if we want to make the width, width um, uh, bigger or width height bigger obviously obviously it is a css section but for now we have to start from basic to uh, upper right now let's write width here uh let's write pixel in we, we are going to start with pixel 500 pixel and make the height uh 400 pixel now let's see what this this renders okay great it renders great now let's make it uh, 400 pixel as well width so it is 400 it doesn't look good i think we will go for 600 it will look much better yeah great okay okay great so that's how image works you can add that you can uh, discuss that we will discuss it further if you do if uh, if you face any for problem no worries i will i will pro provide you this file as well uh, no problem we will uh, mo do more projects in uh, upcoming upcoming lectures i will give you assignments as well okay now let's move further and discuss more about paragraphs now let's see what is what are those now we, when we come here and use paragraphs we can use we, it's, we all we always have to write something right currently we don't have any uh, content to write just write lorem it will give you the lorem when you press enter it will give you a random paragraph it just a lorem paragraph if you go ahead and check what does that mean it uh, if we come here and lorem uh, what does that lorem mean? So basically, it means that lorem is a generator. It does. It is a basic gibberish. It does. It it have no meaning. So we don't have. We we don't have to worry about that. Okay. So we come here and write that, and we go back to the our result. It is basically lorem and something gibberish. Okay. Now we want to uh, make this uh, something right. Now, for example, I want to create this uh, sit. For example, sit. Uh, link now what does link mean when you come here and write a it will give you the options now when we come here and use the press enter it will give that now when we if we want to make sit as a anchor uh, we will use uh, we will put, put the uh, anchor uh, sorry sit inside the anchor so you understand the currently paragraph is the parent element and anchor is the child element where href is the attribute of that anchor tag just like same for goes for image source is a, uh, a, 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 a sorry attribute and image is a element and body is obviously parent of that uh, where where these child uh, are uh, lying right here okay now let's see what this sit looks like great so sits look like something like that obviously we haven't uh, added any link here which is href right so now let's check, go let's add google here um, google uh, just copy paste copy the google link and come here and paste that now let's see what does that link do okay now go back uh, to the here and press sit it will take us to the google um, uh, page okay great that's the basic uh, so when you can put it anything here go to google sorry go to google right um, okay now we go back and check that it will re reload automatically yeah great now we come here and it will take us to the google okay great so that's how anchor tag work just take the notes okay and f just for one more advice that you don't have to remember these syntax if you want to search that anchor tag just go to the google how to add uh, come here how to add 
anchor tag in uh, HTML or any uh, how to add link how to add just simple terms like how to add links uh, in HTML so it will give you the hyperlinks right the it will give you the guidance to that which is uh, w3 school so yeah you can use that as well okay great so now let's see let's check more now let's check about formatting how can we format that using html now there are many ways uh, we obviously we basically use uh, sometimes use css uh, uh, for primary reason primary use we use css but now since we are learning uh, html now let's design that with html how we, how can we design that for instance uh, i i want to take break here how can we take break now let's see b let's uh, break br and write that okay great now let's see if we if we give us that break okay great now we we have another line so it will give us the break it will take the other content in the next line yeah okay great now let's repeat that again let's see what happens okay go back yeah we have more spaces and we have more breaks okay great now now we want to make this assumption or whatever it is uh, more i type uh, i uh, designing right now let's write i and yeah great so come here and yeah let's see so th that makes sense let's go back and check that and let me see if i am recording here yeah, great so it is you see this is italic right now let me zoom further and look at that the, it is italic okay great so th there are more uh emphasis for example more uh, element for that to design that m bit so come here and use that as well so come here and let's see if we, it is emphasized or not let's go, go back and uh, what was it let me see at the low right uh, yeah it is emphasized it, it is simply similar to it it all like but much more for instance if we want to look more options what we going to do we i have more options here for example break bold it make it made the uh, text bold strong it is important text it i like emphasized and mark and much more so you can try that it is your homework to check more and in the upcoming lectures i will give you the project okay basic project you have to basically understand the structure of that what do i mean by structure you have to understand what is parent what is child what are attributes and what are elements which we discussed and what are things uh, elements we can use to break the elements or design the uh, text right so it is your homework to um, uh, experiment on that and make that uh, it lets me let me make one more like for example delete let's see what delete works uh, let's make that here dl yeah dl and put that consecutor what does even mean put that here and let's see what does how does even it look like okay great so it's mean delete so it is amazing that we can do this stuff with using this only text right it's so try that and we will learn more in the upcoming lectures take care and bye bye Hello everyone, welcome back. And first of all, congratulations for finishing the HTML section in this course. Now, since we have finished the HTML section, now we can proceed and learn about CSS. Now, let me give you the introduction of CSS. CSS basically is a handle to presentation of the web page, right? So now, in the first introduction in, of this course, I told, told you that CSS is a basically um, design, basically to a, a way of designing a website. Just like this car, um, since uh, we, in this HTML section, we learned that how we can make the architecture of a website, right? Which means that it's a metallic, how we can shape that, how, how, how the website should look like, but not the coloring or anything, right? It should, it should be dull. Now, we can design it. We can make the color yellow here. We can make the uh, 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 tires black and uh, blacks and uh, white black right and make the lights right, like this and make the borders white like like just like this right now we will use the CSS for this purpose now proceeding further 
now we can come here and see uh, how we can connect this CSS file. Now I have created two files here, which is one is index.html and second is style.css. Now, now let's create the using the MAT abbreviation. We can connect that. Now come here as we discussed in the HTML section, uh, how we can connect the link. When I write here the link, uh, we, it gives us many options. For example, CSS, right? When I click here, uh, it gives us some uh, style sheet relation, right? Which is a link. Now we can connect that. Although we can connect that like this, but I will go go and root dot slash, and it gives us two options. Obviously, we want to connect CSS style with CSS, right? And now this is the first method. Now there are two methods uh, as well. Now, now we can connect that as well. Now we can write here, come here, uh, use CSS like this. For for example, uh, uh, just give me a section. Uh, for example, H1. Let's give H1. For example, I have a tag here using H1, right? Uh, I will give it uh, uh, course C, uh, CSS, right? Uh, right now. Now how we can design it? I've already launched the portal, which is live server here. And I, when I come here and reload, I can see the CSS right now. How we can design it now? Since I've already connected the style sheet here, I can design that using this uh, page. Now let's give it uh, uh, color red. Now it's a it's a basic design which is red basically right. Now come here, it's red. Great, great. It's a first start. Great, get um, start. Now um, basically we can design it more. But however, we, we don't always have to style it using this style uh, page, right? We can come here using index.html. We can come here and uh, style it, give it inline style. For example, just, uh, just for example, commit this link. Uh, now, obviously the color is black again because we don't have a, any link between this style CSS, right, page. Now come here and just write style. And just like before, give the color uh, red um, give just red now obviously it is red now come here it is red again so th this one is inline css and this one is outside the page right so there are many ways um, so the third way is using uh, this one uh, coming here uh, like i for instance i just remove this uh, here as well which is inline css obviously uh, remove this h1 and it is black again great now coming here just write style here and it will give us this uh, as a variable in in this variable in this object component which is a component it has starting tag and it has ending tag as well come here write h1 and write uh, color red great so coming back and we can see it is red again great so now in the upcoming uh, lectures i will use the use this method method because it is much easier and uh, we can see the uh, html here and style them here as well because but when it's come to the project we will use the uh, another page to do the styling we, although we can use the inline style as well or uh, uh, but it is convenient to use the another page. Okay, uh, one more thing. In the inline uh, styles, uh, if I uh, uh, implement color red here, but if I come here and uh, give the style uh, color uh, blue, what do you think? Which one should uh, implement? Is the the H one should tag should be red or is, is this should be blue? When I come here, it should be blue. Why? because the highest priority we will give is on the uh, inline style which is on the tag itself right not this one now however what I, what if i give this uh, yellow just give it yellow what do you think uh, the color should be here uh, it has to be blue again again right now however let's test it out with the this this method or the another page method right now let's see which one it should work right great so the, the the second priority should be uh, this method and this uh, method should be last priority okay great now we learned that now upcoming section i will give you more width related height related class names uh, what is ids etc then see you then bye bye
Hello everyone, welcome back. Now, so previ- in previous section we learned that uh, in previous lecture we learned that that the styling which is the external CSS, which internal CSS and inline CSS, which one and which has the highest priority and the ways of implementing CSS and the introduction of CSS basically. Now in this lecture we will learn more things, more interesting things. Now for now. Uh, this lectures or upcoming lectures i will use the style css but for the project i will use the external css now this one is the is called internal css i will use that instead okay so let's uh, learn more now there are many other uh, methods as well for example fonts i can increase the font size as well uh, be smaller larger right more small it, it make it small right great if i want to make it large um, sorry let me decrease that okay it will make it larger large yeah, it is larger. Let's make it larger. Let's see what happens. And uh, it will make it larger more. So uh, you can use that, uh, the, use this method. But but there are other methods as well. For example, I can use the pixels. Uh, for instance, I want to make it 10 pixel. So let's see what the happens. Uh, or CSS, it will make it smaller. Let's make it 50 pixels. Let's, let's see. Okay, great. It will make it much better. So there are PX pixel and there are mod methods. For example, they are, but the convenience way are, which is RAM, basically, it is RAM. Uh, since if I come here and give it uh, one RAM, which is basically by default is equal to one RAM, uh, one RAM, uh, sorry, uh, let's give, give, just give me here. Okay, one RAM is basically equal to 16 pixel by default. So if I come here and give it one RAM, it will be 16 pixel by default. Now, if I come here and give six CSS, it will be uh, one, uh, 16 pixel. Now, if I give two pixel, it will be 16 plus 16, basically, right? So it will be this two RAM. Now, if I give it, uh, for instance, I give on to give 16 pixel, it will be just like one RAM. I'm here and it will be one RAM. I mean, give the one RAM again. So it will be same. Yep, great. So now there are th these methods, RAM and RM. So what is the difference between RM and RAM? So this one is and uh, one RAM, one and RAM and RM and one uh, of FR. Now we will dis discuss uh, that in the upcoming uh, videos, uh, in our uh, upcoming sections, right? We use basically used EM or RM. So there are two methods. So the EM is basically dependent on the font size which we will give on the body. Now it will be dependent on that. Uh, if I want to give the every uh, element should have its own size, which is equal to 16 pixel, we will use the RAM. So uh, I will explain the uh, difference in advance in uh, when we do the projects. But for now, just keep keep in mind that EM is dependent and our RAM is independent. It will it, it is dependent in some case in some cases. For example, if I, if we change the RAM uh, sized into pixels or something like that, make it 14 pixel or we can do that as well. I will show you that method as well. Okay, don't worry. So uh, let's uh, for example, let's come here and use that outside. It will be same 16 pixel grid. So uh, so th these are methods of uh, increasing and giving the font size. So, but there are many other methods as well. Now let's come here and make the div. Now let's create a div inside we can input that uh, h1 tag uh, right inside that now what if we want to give this, uh, this course borders uh, borders right up borders down borders uh, right borders now let's see how we can do that <laughs> if i come here and give the border it has many options for example border left border right width width and low top red uh border right radius right much more many borders methods but for instance if you want to give the border a uh, basic border uh, all, around, all all left right top and uh, bottom everywhere we will do it uh, for instance solid we want to make it solid so it's uh, it will look, uh, at least we can see it and we will give it one pixel and give it a blue for instance right so let's come back here and we can we can see it is order size now why it is covered by a full we'll discuss that as well in the upcoming section it is basically the concept of blocks and much more right so we will discuss that in the upcoming sections so 
the, 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 for this lecture, I think it is enough to understand what is RAM and RM difference. We will discuss that in advance in the upcoming lectures. So just keep it, uh, keep the basics uh, for now. Hello, bye. Hello everyone, welcome back. So now in this lecture, uh, we will learn in advance uh, the width and height, how we can uh, implement that in our projects. Okay, so uh, let's 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 see how it, we can proceed. So coming here, let's create a uh, div. Uh, uh, let's give it, uh, for instance, uh, it something like paragraph. Let's give it paragraph and give it lorem and uh, give it at least five right let's give it five and give two more great and give it h1 h2 tag and name it lorem okay great so now we have to design that right so before designing there is one thing we have to understand how we can differentiate how we can del for example if i come here and give the this div one more div uh, and coming here, uh, if I come here and just just remove it, remove that for now because we don't need to design that. And come here, give the div and give the, uh, for instance, width 10 rem. And coming, come back here and just give the width div border as well. So we know, uh, we, you can use that, right? Div border solid, uh, sorry, uh, solid and red. Uh, red. So it will give us the border, right? So it has both has the border, right? Now, what if we want, we don't want the border in this div and we want the border in this div, right? We don't want the border here, but we want the borders here. So how, how, how is, how we can differentiate that? Do you know anything in your mind? Just answer me, just, uh, just act like we are in the same class and answer me, okay? Uh, yes, so if your answer is classes or IDs, you're correct. And if your answer is inline CSS, your answer is also correct. But which one is convenient? Because we are styling here, right? We can use classes here. For example, we come here, class, write class here, and give anything, uh, for instance, any name. Uh, uh, for instance, uh, just name it uh, div number one, right? And if just give them give this design give div number one as well now if i come here and make the make it div the one so if we want to use classes in css we can use that using dot okay now there are two methods to give the design to divs using other method right there are two methods for instance uh, there are one method called id we can give it ID, for instance, give the ID number uh, one, give the ID number two. Now, we cannot use the same ID in both places because ID is basically unique, okay? ID is unique. It says, defines a unique identifier, which means that every div or every div ID you make, it should be unique. But here, the difference between class and ID is that class is uh, everywhere, right? You can use in multiple places, same class name. For example, I use the div one, it should have same design now because we have implemented the same design, great. But we want the different design in both places. How we can do that? Now come here and give the design div slash hash one and give it just like, for instance, uh, uh, how uh, give it width uh, five frame, uh, ten? Just give it ten rem, and uh, and we don't need border here. Just copy that and paste that here. And we need to in div two, we need the border, right? Uh, give it two pixel solid red. Now for now for now, just uh, just remove the classes here because we don't need to implement the same design in both places. Now what what do you think would happen? This one sh in our uh, our uh, using our concept, it should the first div should not have any border, right? The second div should have the borders. Now let's go and check it out. 
okay both have don't have any designs i think it's it is because of this uh, slash uh, this div right i understood that so my my bad so in the classes in the classes we have to use dot but of using the id we have to use uh, hash okay the uh, in order to use the class we use dot again uh, in order to use the id we can use the uh, this hash so now it should be implemented now let's reload i think there's a mistake let's go and give it like this dash instead of this hash because i think it is conflicting let's give the dash again and dash again okay okay now it should be implemented okay great so first uh, they don't have any borders and second have the borders by because the first id should have the uh, uh border because we give it the design border and for uh, the second uh, uh, div which is id div div one should don't have any borders so it should not supposed to be uh, sorry it's not supposed to have any borders so it doesn't now this is the basic difference between id and classes okay see you then Hello everyone, welcome back. Now, in previous lectures, we discussed that how we can make it IDs and work with ID and classes, right? And difference between them, basically. So now in this lecture, let's actually go to the uh, W3 school documentation, right? So whenever you need any help or any, uh, for instance, uh, guidance or any syntax, uh, for example, if you forget the syntax and you want to remember that, or you want to remind your that syntax, right? What you do is direct, just go to the W3 school. And uh, just when you go to the W3 school, it will give you the basic, uh, simple, uh, right? Menu, uh, sorry, homepage. But all you want, uh, had to do is basically uh, have to do is basically go to the CSS section and, and you can come here and look at that, right? So I will teach you according to that. Uh, I'll teach you mostly, most of the thing you need right now to make, uh, develop the website, right? Uh, so now previous lectures, we uh, learned that how we can make classes and IDs, right? Now in this, in this section, we will learn that how we can make a difference between, between margin, margin padding and much more, basically a box model. I will explain what is box model, what is margin and what is padding. Right. And with that, I will uh, explain what is inspect element as well, because the inspect element is very important uh, in order to uh, understand that we will uh, make some thing and code on that as well. Uh, right. Uh, now, in previous uh, sure we created this and uh, right, uh, we made different IDs and work on that. Right. And we also learned that what is the difference between basically ID and classes. So now let now let's go back to the uh, our page right. All you have to do is basically come here and click inspect. Just click inspect. You might receive uh, upon the inspect here. All you have to do is basically come here and put set the position right in the sidebar right. It, it, totally up to you up up to you where you want to uh, the out right for the inspect element. Now when you come here, it it gives you basically the code you have written in basically in the uh, Studio code which is this right. Now now if you come here, sorry, I'm really sorry. Okay, now if you come back and look at the um, inspect element, you can see your code which is basically header right. This is the header which we wrote and this is the style which we wrote and uh, we can basically change that here, but I will give you the uh, much better way to uh, uh, edit the CSS. So I can uh, basically make it bigger. We can come and check this console log. So we will learn about the console log when we jump into the JavaScript section, okay? These are the sources. You don't need to get in that right now. Basically, this is the structure you have uh, made in the, uh, your Visual Studio, right? The folder structure, basically this one. So now coming back, we will. This is the network. We will learn that in the uh, basically in the React section, where we will learn where we will learn, learn learn going to learn the basically Firebase is the back uh, basically database and backend which will they will provide for us for our front end, okay? And this is the form performance section. We will uh, to take some performance test as well. This is this is basically tell you that how what is your current 
for uh, state of your website but uh, you need to optimize that and where you are lacking basically so it will give you the percentage there are more websites like gta metrics and microsoft also provide that provide other tools and google provide the other tools as well so this is the this is the memory and i'm coming here this is the application we will work on the local storage as well basically this is the cache basically if you were on um, this cache storage as well so it is mostly related to the uh, browser database if you call that in simple words right so uh, sql subscribe much more and there are uh, other options as well we will get into them when we need a uh, further look right just learn the basic the learn the fundamentals uh, and you get deep into the learning curve or make your own project and much more right uh, so you, you will learn the other concepts on the way okay so don't just get and get and straight into the learning all the concepts and not implement them but yeah just learn some few concepts implement them and go on and move move further okay great so that's a basic simple introduction to the inspect element now coming here i can change anything for example i can come here change uh, atisham my name which is my name and it will change we change him and you can you can uh, you do that everywhere for instance i come here and you can show that to your friends and, and make them impressed so that is some complex code so just don't get we don't need to read that but coming here i just press inspect element and we it brought us here i can change that uh, i can change it to atisham uh, is genius right so it will give you that uh, basic uh, it it can change the inspect element you can do that in the google and much more right so you can basically show that to your friends that the w3 school is mentioning me as a genius and much more and make uh, impress your friends etc so so you can uh, do that as well now coming here for instance i want to change the border of this uh, red which is the red second div is red which is the, uh, basically if i uh, open it uh, and do that and make th this one is basically this and this one is this so when you hover that it will basically give you the uh, that hover effect as well so i want to make that div background color uh, board sorry borders right and undo that so i coming here i give us uh, styling sheet as well which is right it gives us when i come that it will specifically give me that div uh, style okay <clears throat> sorry now i can change the div if i come and press up cursor and increase that and if i come here increase decrease uh, much more i can do that right so i don't want the border here right now i will all i will do is just undo that and it will undo that but i want that in the div one what i'm going to do basically come here and border two pixel solid and right great now we have the red uh, uh, border in the uh, in the first section right so in sorry in the first div now you can change that according to that right but now upping ourselves i will skip the uh, border box model for now and we will learn that in the next episode see you then hello everyone welcome back now in previous lecture we discussed that how we can manipulate with a fact element and how we can change the style of uh, our website using um, inspect element and much more right now coming back we can coming further we will learn that what is the box model so let's use the emit here and create something right just create a div we will name it as class now i can write the class like this for example container but i want to uh, just do the same step fastly right just, I, what i'm going to do basically i'm coming back here i will going to do just write dot and write container and an interpolar center it will give you the same uh, div but using fast emit abbreviation technique. okay so you can do that and same goes for our div for instance i come here and i write a c so it will give you the id okay great now i want something like for instance i want one more two more divs i will just create i will make the class for instance 
div one and uh, for instance i uh, yeah i will make it uh, child make it name a child and multiply by three i when, when i press enter it will give my give me three divs okay great that is great now i want something i will just wrote uh, this is div uh, child one this is child two and this is child three now coming back here uh, i will reload and it will give me the three uh, basically divs and i can look at them here as well okay great now how can i what is basically box model and how, how can i design the website using box model now margin what is margin what is padding and what is uh, basically border right what is border we have learned the border but we, we haven't learned the basic uh, padding and margin now let's make the tiling sheet here let's create the styling here and currently we have named it as container we will use the dot container and write container write this uh, parenthesis and uh, we will just give it something for instance border two pixel uh, solid and red and uh, we will give it fit for instance uh, let's give it uh, port 30 rem here and hide 30 rem it's a great now since child is something we have to change we want something like uh, for instance just give it height uh, just don't give anything for now just give it border uh, two pixel solid and blue okay now coming back we have something like this right now let's uh, i think i need to, uh, sorry uh, i need to decrease the height and increase height here okay okay now let me check how much have we have 150 never okay it's not a problem now you see the con this is like basically container and we have three childs inside the container how can i design that how can I differentiate them how can i play with these three childs and the container now we can use the padding which is basically let's see let's implement the padding and then i will tell you what is padding okay now i want the child to have something space inside them right i want something like this now let's make the child for instance okay, let's give it padding uh, for instance i want the padding in, on top right i want the padding on top so it gives me some options for instance left top right and bottom we want just we, we just want to learn these four for now how there are others but we, for now we don't need them because we will learn on the go as i just discussed before right now i want the top padding two rem for instance two rem and coming here it gave me space inside the padding which is a top padding right you if you look at the one it is some has some space up on the top but not in the bottom because we haven't said uh, set any uh, padding in the bottom or left or right right okay now let's give it the let's give the give that padding uh, bottom two rem as well now let's go check it might have two padding inside a bit bottom at the bottom as well okay that is great we are going in the right step right uh, uh, direction now what is basically padding doing now coming here if i come here and scroll down the padding is basically inside the padding basically it is making space inside the child it is not making any space above outside the child but it is making space inside the child but uh, if you say i want to make some spaces outside the child what i'm going to do either you can depending on the scenario you can use the um, padding or margin so i want to use the margin which will give the space outside the uh, right outside the padding outside the sorry child now i will just amend that and to remind you i commented that fastly just by control plus slash okay great now i want to give margins just like before top uh, two rem and padding bottom oh sorry not padding margin bottom it has the same option just like padding okay bottom two rem now just look at the difference i come back here you see the child inside the child there is no difference but it has the it's outside the child if i resume that and come in that and uh, uncomment the padding part you will see there is the space inside the child outside the child so basic difference is that when we 
in where depending on the scenario where we use the margin or where we earn the margin writing, right so let me give you a scenario for instance i want some child uh, child to any website let me show you my website for instance and then i will give you the example right this is my personal website you can go uh, and look at the website it has a beautiful design now coming back let me give something right uh, for instance i want this is a basically a div this is one div in very inside it, inside it has four childs right and then it has many child inside nested child as well so i want some big div that big div which is covering that all four childs i want the space be, uh, at the bottom right what what should i do so the basic idea is that i should get the margin bottom so it has the margin margin bottom but what if i want some uh in, for instance i want the padding uh, you can give the padding for instance first uh, heading give the padding high to hide or this uh, a logo yet it is not a logo it's a svg we will learn that in the upcoming sections but so it it is varies it's totally up to you. you can give the padding as well but for good purposes and uh good uh, for good practice we should use the uh, margin here for that purpose okay now uh, so that is basically a box model the, that is mostly related to uh, uh, padding margin and border so we have learned the border but we haven't learned the padding and margin so now we you we also know the margin and padding now if what if we implement both margin and uh, padding both right so coming back it has some space inside that and it has some space outside the uh, outside the child as well so that's a basic idea uh, that's a basic idea we are uh, we implemented so that i think that's it for now uh, i will give you some assignments as well later to that and move on right so uh, see you then in the next lecture hello everyone welcome back now in previous uh, lectures uh, we discussed that what is box model what is basically uh, basically padding height and what is basically uh, margin and difference basically difference between them right now if i go back and look at that we made a container and we learned that how we can differentiate between them right now obviously let me see if there is any design here right come coming here for example we made a dip board we give the border and much more separate if you have to look more you have to go back the, in previous lecture so now let's change something now we will discuss the flex xbox which is very essential for for to make our website looks good so in, in previous before flexbox were created uh, fle sorry flexbox function is created we used to do we using float uh, but although you can do that uh, right now as well but still prep we still we programmers and we web developers prefer flexbox instead why because flexbox basically give us more um, and, and it is very flexible for us and it, it will give you very basically it, it is very productive to make the website using flexbox and you will know that we will make the nav bar in, in upcoming sections and you will uh, you you can see the difference totally and you will love the flex uh, using flex using flex okay and then you can flex to your friends great now nice joke okay uh, now let's do something right N now let's try making something similar to a nav bar uh, for example how we can nav bar which is, what is nav bar basically so nav bar is something that we can uh, write uh, let's let me go let me let's go to google google let's go to google so this one is basically nav bar right now if i come here and uh, uh, just inspect element we can see that this one is inspected uh, right? this one is uh, basically nav bar now if i come and uh, border this two pixel uh, red red uh, red it will give us basically a total which is 100 percent width and it has some padding on the body and etc right so considering that we should uh, be able to make that using flexbox very easily very very easily now how can i heck, how can we make that obviously now for example right now we we should focus on something uh, basics of the flex right now let's let's learn that first now coming here we have three right 
so let's just remove that and remove the uh, styling as well let's create something like nav right just you can you can you can use this nav uh, uh, to tell that we are making a nav but since it is the header which is inside the uh, if i if we go look at the layout of the website uh, which i showed in the html section you can totally see that uh, the nav nav uh, tag is inside the header so we should for the preference we should put that header nav bar in inside the header okay great let's do that let's copy the nav bar tag and put it inside the header okay great so now this is something uh, is done right now what what is else there for example there are some links there are some images and you can do that but for now let's create something like li for example li basically give us a right li emit abbreviation i can use that and create one let's use that what is li we let's learn that after we implement that okay you can do that as well let's make three for instance i want home page i want for instance i want uh, uh, gallery i want contact content con contact okay now these are three allies if we go and look at the uh, we can see the allies okay so what should uh, how we can make that something look good right now coming here let's implement the styles okay let's implement the how we can center uh, let's make them uh, line and make them uh, inline and make them non block and it's currently you see when we hover here and come here it is by default it is block so what is block mean so basically block mean that the it covers li are basically innate by innate in nature they are block block what, what is so what is block what block means that the the li tag covers 100% width of the page okay 100% of the page uh, if i display uh, if i come here and display uh, for example display inline it will it will it will it won't cover the 100% width but instead it it will cover the width which it's required which is itself the gallery text right so instead of doing inline in every every allies for example I, I come here and make that inline i come here and make that inline so it is very inconvenient right we can do that as right but for the better per preference or better practice we can just display the uh, just let me reload, reload so we can lose the uh, styling yeah it's uh, there gone we can display them flex right we can do that as well so this is something that the uh, when we implement the play flex on the end it will make the child's it will not make the child's child's uh, in line but it will make the allies which are the child of this nav it will make them in line and it will they will be they will be in row okay so uh, that is something we have to uh, look at okay so they are they were uh, by default they were column but uh, we by using display flex we made them row in row okay now there are uh, let's implement first let's implement that in our styling let's reload that so we can lose the styling great now we need the nav right so we don't need to implement any class for now because if we need the class we can implement but currently we can access that nav using directly the nav because we don't need that class so let's implement the styling here let's implement display flex right so let's go and look that again so it is flex again okay great now how we can center them horizontally let's go and justify content and center so let's see what that, that does great now it will center them so what is justify content right let's let's read about it Align flex atoms along the main axis of the current line of the flex container. So basically, it is a thing we can. There are other properties of it as well. For instance, we can use the flex and uh, it will flex here, flex and here, just like Google, right? So we can flex start as well, which which is a basically initial. Uh, for instance, when I come here and flex start it will bring that here which is the default by default by default it is justifying content it is flex start okay 
so but currently we need flex and right flex and but there are properties let's try them as well let's try and what does it even do so that the, this basically flex and 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 is basically the same okay now so i don't have to implement every property right right here so you can go and do tire asset but there are three most important uh, properties which i which you will use which will uh, we will use in every website i use, i love that properties in my if you ask me so uh, the space around uh, basically what does it even do so it will equally space them around okay it will give them equal distance around them so let's see so they are by in by equally uh, distributed okay so they have the equal distance uh, by left and right depending on the width of the uh, page okay and just like that we can uh, and space around and space between as well so they will be first one will be at the start last one will be in the end and the cent third one will be middle one will be in the middle okay now let's check okay that's great now th that is how it's going to work great now how what the other properties do let's try them as well uh, for instance let's go and uh, implement flex evenly so it will basically evenly distribute it around around de depends on the width when we do a space around it will judge around uh, basically upon the width of the uh, page but when we do evenly it will distribute the uh, space between them the allies the which allies evenly okay so i missed that uh, so we have error here let's fix that okay it's fixed now it will evenly distribute them great nice now let's go and dis discover more properties okay so there is one more uh, property we can use which is align atoms so the justify content is basically horizontally lining right uh, uh, which is the main axis align cell uh, right so but but when we do uh, line items it will uh, let's let me just border line just me just just let me wait uh, border this to pixel solid direct okay and let's make that center as well let's see what does do so uh, so let's let's give some padding as well for instance padding uh, let's give the header border okay let's come here and give the header border inside so we can judge what what does align items enter uh, doing because currently we don't see any difference right so let's bring that up here and give the height of this at least 15 rm okay so uh great now considering that we should be able to enter that nav right but but you see uh, what i told you uh, i told you before the if i implement the nest display flex here had it won't implement it that property to itself okay so in order to implement the display flex uh, make the nav bar center we have well what we have to do basically it's your homework just I'll pause the video and uh, just give me the answer okay just talk to me just consider uh, assume that we are in the same class and answer me okay i will pause so if you tried and pondered that and if your answer is that we have to implement the display flex in the height as well yeah header as well you're that you're very right we have to display flex and align atom center so it will excessively uh, align them right so it is center but we have to align them why uh why horizontally why right in on y axis as well so what we have to do we have to, basically we have to do justify content and center it will uh, enter them yeah it's very great 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 now it's working very great so that's something we can do but what if we want to in some cases for example if i go and improve that uh, come here for uh, instance i want uh, just uh, for instance i want 150 zoom and when we come here in the mobile it is not working why i mean why it is not working so we will learn that uh, why how we can make the uh, responsive uh, our website responsive using media queries in the upcoming sections but for now let's see how we can fix that using flex okay 
So when when we learned the MIDI queries, you will learn the, how we can use ma manipulate the um, uh, CSS of the web page by uh, setting the width or height. For instance, this uh, uh, application, the website has some uh, facing any uh, overflow, uh, right? When it is on the one fifth, uh, sorry, one fifth, uh, one fifty width, right? So and a five four eight height. So when we use media queries uh, we will implement the same setting we are implementing here in the uh, media okay. so when we come here and what we're going to do basically give the nav bar flex direction again column right so by default it is uh, has to be uh, column but by uh, implementing display flex we made it in row so it was uh, the all the allies uh, were in the the block uh, converted converted into block which were in line sorry which converted into in line which were in line uh, block before right so so by implementing the flex direction column we can uh, change, change their direction to uh, column again so when we come here and you can see so you uh, you can easily uh, see the basic difference uh, uh, the this, uh, when we uh, this uh, flex direction them uh, column okay so how so when we go back to the same width which is our web page our uh, basic operating system or oh, sorry pc or any tablet uh, form or any computer resolution so it is not again but we uh, as i just said before we have to implement that property uh, when we use media queries okay so let's just uh, move that or come in that Okay, great. Now it will be again in the row and they, they are basically in line. But you see, when we implement the flex direction, it doesn't convert the uh, lies into block again, but they it just they change their direction to column. Just it. Okay. So I think that is enough for now to learn the basics of display flex. In the upcoming lectures, we will learn that how we can basically make the good looking nav bar. Okay, so it will be a good practice for to practice this display flex. I know it's very uh, confusing right now, but for now, when we progress to the project section, uh, project you will learn more and improve on the, and you will get the hands-on practice uh, uh, on display flex. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, let's go to the next lecture. Bye.